up you guys my name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition um, this is a uh, water sign reading for my water sign sun signs Cancer Pisces Scorpio uh, don't forget the basics time is fluid energy is fluid it doesn't apply it apply everyone has free will only take the messages that resonate leave the rest love and appreciate each and every one of you guys we're at 13,255 subscribers so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel if you'd like to donate it's High Priestess Tarot 5 the links in the description box below PayPal only no cash app no Venmo it's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Oh, you know your situation and story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Love you guys so much. I want to show you my new chair I got today on a rollback Walmart special for 69 bucks. It's regularly 210 bucks. I love it. Just saying. Isn't it amazing? You can't see the whole thing, and it's got cool legs, too. Just saying, just saying. And it's so comfy. It's my new office chair. Hopefully, y'all can hear me okay. There's been complaints saying you guys can't hear me again, so I've got the volume all the way up, okay? I do apologize about that. Okay. So this is from a water sign for July of 2022. Of course, everybody's on different time in life paths. So for some of you guys, it can resonate in July, some outside July, if it does resonate, okay? I have not received any channel messages yet, um, but if I do, I will let you know. Hope everybody is doing well. Spirit messages you have signed uh, for water signs. Vigilance and rebirth. A date coming soon for a water sign. Younger water sign. A date coming soon for a younger water sign is what I heard. A date coming soon. So I feel you're 30, 36, 35, 34 below. You could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Think you're getting out there and putting your toes in the dating water, sir or ma'am. And you're going to give yourself a rebirth with the... Um, the date energy, hopefully they treat you with respect. Um, hopefully you keep your boundaries and make this person respect you. Um, don't let them take advantage of you, uh, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Okay. Um, of course, you have free will and you can do whatever you want to do on the date. But trust me, from an old 38-year-old woman that's been on a lot of dates, a lot of dates in my life, it's, it's good to have them respect you first. You want them to respect you first. If the respect's not there, the relationship's not going to last if anybody needs to hear this. Um, and I'm just being for real, okay? I've been a divorced old woman for a long time, been on a lot of dates, and it's the truth, okay? If that helps anybody out there, okay? Rebirth, that's really beautiful. You could be... Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, 35, 36, or below, okay? Vigilance. A water sign is keeping a very close eye on their children now. Some one child, some several children, because of so many things that have recently occurred in their world. Okay, well, that's a good one. So, you're, whoever you are, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Mask, or Fem, I heard you're keeping a very watchful eye, some on one child, some on two or two plus children of yours, because there's so many things that have happened in your world recently. So, vigilance, your watchful eye energy on your child or children, whoever you are, I feel you're a good parent. I don't feel you abuse or neglect your children, or you, um, you know, put them out for sex trafficking or... Um, child pedophile rings or secret hidden cameras for your ring or what have you what have you i really think you're a good high vibrational person 
You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. And I really think you love your children, just like I love my children. Um, now, I didn't hear ages on your children. Only you know this, not anybody else, but you're definitely keeping a close eye on them. I feel for some, you can be stay-at-home parents, or you have a flexible job to where you can work from home for some, or you, if you're in a relationship, or co or um, grandparents or parents or people support system, they help you keep a watchful eye on your child or children. Like, how that resonates because everybody's life situation is different um but definite watchful eye energy on your child or children something has happened in your world um i feel for some you've ran into a pedophile or somebody's been nastily gawking at your child or children in public um like oogling their goodies or looking at them inappropriately or god forbid hopefully not touching them inappropriately um and it's really um, woke you up. It's really woke you up. And I'll tell you today, a personal experience when I was in Walmart today with my daughter. Um, she's 16 and she is a wonderful child. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful child. You couldn't ask for any better. Um, but it wasn't her. It was the creepy men in Walmart. And they didn't like that I publicly said that there was creepy men in Walmart I needed to protect her from. And I didn't say them. I just said creepy men in Walmart. But then people get triggered when you um, call out their behavior publicly. One said something and I said, well, only you know if you're a creepy man, sir. Only you know if you are or not. Only you know if you're staring at her inappropriately, not me. It shut him up really quick, really quick. He ran. Well, he didn't run, but he left. But he was giving me the ah when he left. And I was looking at him back. But it's the truth. It's the truth. Only you know if you're inappropriately staring at children or not. You know? And that's just the truth. So whoever you are, I think somebody's been inappropriately staring, inappropriately staring at your children or saying inappropriate things to them or doing something inappropriate. Maybe it's online... Um, online inappropriate communication with them i'm not sure only you know your story not anybody else sir ma'am you're a water sign and you have child some one child some two or two plus children um i don't blame you rebirth a new part-time job for one feminine water sign older feminine water sign It's going to be, you need to balance this appropriately with children and job. Okay, I heard a new part-time job for an older water sign fan. Um, you're going to need to balance it appropriately with children and job. So, I, I feel support system energy here. If you have support system, um, that, you know, support system can be anybody. Doesn't have to be toxic family or family, period. It can be anybody. It can be neighbors that you trust. It can be um, um, friends you trust. Good people now, not shady behind the scenes people. Um, so, 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 some, some, some kind of support system energy is what I'm feeling here. Because I heard I'm going to need to balance the part time job with your, I think, care of your child or children. Whoever you are, your older water sign femme. So you're 35, 36 or above. You could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hamer, Jupiter, Chart. Rebirth in this aspect is getting a new part-time job. I think it's going to bring it's going to bring you income in, help the household of you and your children. Um, but um, for some, you might have to pay childcare expense expenses. Possibly, I'm not sure. Um, only you know you're showing out anybody else. Um, unless um, you're under the income line to where you can get free childcare. Um, if you live in the United States, I'm not sure. Uh, but definite rebirth energy uh, with the part-time job. You plug it in how it resonates, ma'am. Your older water sign femme, can be 35, 36, 37 or above. You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, 
Um, everybody, please think of me because um, my uh, my child custody battle court hearing is July 15th um, for me. July 15th is July 2nd right now. So it's coming up very quickly. July 15th, um, that is the court date for the, we're currently under the McClendon standard and everything and have been for a while. So if everybody could just please think of me, keep me in your thoughts, your prayers, your meditation, whether you pray, meditate, what, whatever you do, um, whether you're spiritual, spiritual and religious, or just spiritual or not, I, I would appreciate the thoughts and well wishes. It's July 15th. Number 51 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 51, healer of the ages. Number 51 could be a very significant number in your life. Uh, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 51. I apologize about the dirty nails. I was out there cleaning my vehicle with my daughter and doing yard work. So I apologize. And my and my son helped do this. Healer of the ages. A Reiki healing session is about to become very significant in a water science life. It's going to be very positive for you. Very positive. A Reiki healing session is about to become very significant in a water science life. It's about to be very positive for you. Oh, Reiki healing sessions. Yes. Um, eventually, I'm going to expand my business and um, become a Reiki healer. Um, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I have so much I still need to learn there, and that's just the truth. But Somebody's about to go to um, a high, I'm feeling a high level Reiki healer, um, very experienced person. Um, and I heard it's going to benefit you in huge ways. So Reiki healing in this aspect with healer, healer of the ages, um, I think they're going to align your chakras, baby, or help align your chakras. You plug it in, how it resonates, it's really beautiful. Casey, J Casey, Jason, Deborah, Mark, Justin. Okay, you plug it in how it resonates. Amanda. Stacy, Sarah, I said this you have for the collective for water signs. Susan, Susie, Carla, Carly, David. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. That could be your name or somebody you're connected to's name, first, middle. It could be a, a first name, middle name, last name, nickname. It could be your name or somebody you're connected to's name. That's a lot of names there. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. However, that resonates and applies in one's life. Water signs. Um, that was a lot of names. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. Vision. Stacia, Alicia, Stacia and Alicia, Jesse, Jesse, Vision, a new business collaboration. Is about to unfold. Someone's about to get out of terror reading soon. A new business collaboration is about to unfold. Someone's about to get out of terror reading soon is what I heard. 
So vision in this aspect is the new vision collaborate, uh, new vision here, new vision for a new business collaboration. And one of you guys is about to get out tar tarot card reading, I heard soon. So for whoever that's for, you're a tarot card reader. You could be doing home services or like allowing clients in your home and do tarot card readings, or you could have a popular online social media platform like me. Um, how that resonates, but how that resonates, you're about to get out tarot card reading. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, and you're about to collaborate with others in a business idea. So your vision for this new business idea, um, however that resonates. So you're going to work with others. For one, it's a food truck. For one, it will do very, very, very well. For one, it will tank into the ground. There will be a lot of money lost there. For one, it's a food truck. For one, it's going to, the business is going to take off. For one, it's going to tank into, tank into the ground. A lot of money lost there. So um, business vision here. And one of them, it's a food truck. Uh, at least two of you guys, it's a food truck. Uh, one, it's going to do really well. One, it's not. It's just going to tank. So um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. That, none of that's happened yet. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. And one popular online social media platform is about to start really receiving a lot of clair, clairvoyant visions. They are about to yield you a lot of financial wealth because they're about to start coming true. And one popular online social media platform, I heard you're about to start receiving a lot of clear audience. Uh, I'm sorry, not clear audience, clairvoyant visions. So cl visions, clairvoyance, true spiritual realm visions, not mental health visions. Like you're seeing um, hands coming out of the wall or spiders rolling up the wall. That's true mental health issues. This clairvoyance in the spiritual realm is completely different. Trust me, it comes from the inside. I've gotten them before. It's nothing like seeing a damn hand come out the wall or um, spiders coming up the wall, or Bob in the other room speaking to you when they're not there. That's not this. This is spiritual realm. Whoever you are, you're mentally clear, and you're able to receive downloads from the spiritual realm. Like I said, spiritual realm energy comes from the inside. It comes from the inside. It's nothing external. So, um, and you're a popular online social media platform, so your platform's already been built. People know who you are, and you're about to start receiving a lot of, it sounds like clairvoyant, visions um and i heard they're gonna it's gonna gain you a lot of wealth because they're gonna start coming true so i think coming true for people on your platform is what i think kind of like my uh my prophetic messages come true for people on my platform your clairvoyant visions are about to come true for you on your platform sir ma'am whoever you are awesome And a water sign masculine, younger water sign masculine is about to finally reach out to a Leo feminine. They have not connected with this person in a long time. And a water sign masculine, younger water sign masculine, I heard is about to finally reach out to a Leo femme. They have not re they have not connected with this person in a long time. So whoever you are, younger water sign masculine, it's a Leo feminine. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hammer, Jupiter charts. I heard you have not connected with her in a long time. So reconciliation energy, but it's it's been a long time since you've communicated with her or, or connected with her or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So whoever this person is to you, they could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and Henry, Jupiter charts. It sounds like you're going to reach out to her, your younger water sign masculine, who you could be 36, 35, 34, or younger. Number 43 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 43, the unexpected. Hold on to the seat of your pants, water signs, because things are about to start getting really topsy-turvy in many areas of your life soon. Hold on, water signs. Things are about to start getting really topsy-turvy in your life um, in unexpected ways soon. So topsy-turvy energy. Um, it sounds like things are about to... Unexpected series of chain events sounds like are about to start occurring here, um, which is about to, um, it's either, I feel it's either going to shake it up for you in a positive way or shake it up for you in a negative way, however that resonates, sir or ma'am. Um, whoever you are, water signs. Uh, it sounds like a lot of unexpected things are about to happen. A lot of unexpected truths about to come out. A lot of unexpected events are about to occur. Things you never thought was about to happen is about to happen. Soon and quickly. 
a lot of unexpected truths about to come out and a lot of unexpected events are about to occur you never thought were is going to occur and it's about to shake things up in huge ways soon and quickly so unexpected series of chain of events life shaking life altering events here whatever they are and how they apply in your life water sign you have to plug it in how it resonates cancer Pisces, scorpio okay wow for one is the popular online social media platform getting all these clairvoyant visions i'm not clairvoyant clair um yeah sorry clairvoyant clairvoyant visions which is going to lead you to wealth um because they're going to start coming true um and that's a beautiful one but for some of you guys i feel it's going to be unexpected negative things possibly now it could be happening to you these are going to happen to or to somebody you're connected to it could be go positive or negative i'm feeling A water sign is about to move out of their city quickly and for one your neighbor is about to move out of their city quickly okay so for one of you guys you're about to move out of your city quickly so water signs you are about to move out of your city quickly for one of you guys cancer Pisces, scorpio for one your neighbor is about to move out of their city quickly so you have to plug it in how it resonates so the unexpected as far as you moving i don't think your neighbors or your community or anybody thought you were planning on moving but you're about to um it sounds like for some you um got a job offer or you're about to get a job offer or you have the money to just relocate um how that resonates um for some it's your neighbor about to unexpectedly move and you didn't obviously realize they were about to move but they are about to move soon and quickly um soon and quickly energy so you plug it in how it resonates you guys and assault is about to become very significant in a water sign's life some in a positive way, some in a negative way. Only you know which side of karma you're on with this. Oh, my Lord. An assault is about to become very, very significant in a water sign's life. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So assault. So assault. It could be with an object or it could be with hands or feet or extremities. Um, it could be. I heard um, only you know which side of karma, karma you're on with this. Um, so for some, I feel you might have assaulted person, people, place, or situation. And for some, I think somebody assaulted you or was about to. And that could be the unexpected series of chain of events too. My God, that's that's terrible. Um, if you one of you guys gets assaulted, please call the police or, or do something about it um or reported or wherever you're at uh, I, let somebody know don't just take it don't just take it please don't just take it because abusive people like that that assault people um i feel this is physical assault i don't feel it's verbal assault for some it can be verbal assault but i don't feel it is i feel it's physical with either an object or hands or extremities or something like that but how that resonates if you are quiet about it people think they're they can just keep doing it to you um so it's good to speak up about it whoever you need to speak up to about it hopefully the police i feel in a lot of these situations and i'm just being for real okay be my niece to hear that but for some you're on the negative end so for some i feel you have already assaulted person people place or situation or you're about to but hopefully if you're about to hopefully you think about things and don't assault somebody um how that resonate but for some you're on the good side so i think you have been assaulted in the past or if you're about to be hopefully you can protect yourself and then communicate to somebody that you have been okay i love you guys so much everybody have a wonderful day i hope this helped namaste